uh, you have different phases in, chase, in choosing a line. And I, I think that at first, once you've, got, you've been attracted by a line, like kind of emotionally, after I would say it's the, the terrain probably, like all the features in a line, the size of the terrain, all the exposure, all the possible features to play with. Not necessarily factual, you know, it's like you see a mountain and you don't know why. Some mountains are beautiful, some others are not. And depending on everyone's style, we all get attracted by one line on a, on a mountain. And we should always know our style and follow that intuition because I think it's, uh, it's a very personal choice. Well, the priority, like finding a nice line, but then what validates it or not, it's going to be the security. Security is uh, the thing that I spend the most time in studying when choosing a line. And uh, in that security, there's going to be the snow, like all the exposure in the line and all the different elements that could be dangerous basically. Crevasses, cornices, rock falls, the access. So I think it's a more factual way of thinking. So okay, what's going to be the access? What's going to be the dangers? How could I uh, ride it to avoid this and this and this? And like the way it works is that you elaborate somehow a plan in your head and that's again a very a very straight way of thinking, you know, like you calculate really what you do. It's not really emotional, it's like really factual. And then once everything is all done, once you've validated the thing, I think if you, like I personally enter more into a, a visualization phase where I, I kind of see myself writing that line over and over. And the more time you spend visualizing it, the better it's going to be after for writing because the less you're going to have to think. And I think that's the best way to really appreciate it and, and to write at your best possible level.